Hello, my beautiful people. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome everyone to my channel. This is Minister Nay. Guys, I'm still having trouble talking properly, but to God be all the glory. Hopefully, in a couple of months, I can go and get some more work done and my speech will be much better. But once again, welcome everyone. Greetings. Today, um, I want to share with you, my brothers and sisters, family and friends everywhere. I want to say to God, be the glory for great things he has done and great things he is doing and great things he will continue to do in the life of his children, in the life of his people. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endure forever. Today, um, I will talk to you about a few scriptures that I um, wrote down. And these are my scriptures that I would use to meditate, use to pray, and talk to God. So I pray that you are blessed and you are encouraged. I don't know how long this video is going to be, and I don't know what all the Lord would lay on my heart to speak to us today. So let's get into the video. First, I'm going to start off with a few scriptures, and then there's so much um, things that I would love to share, but sometimes you just want to wait on that right moment to speak what the Lord has placed on your heart. You don't want to rush the spirit. You just want to wait. And when he releases you, you want to release the word that he has given to you and to me. Praise God. So we want to start, um, I'm going to read the scriptures. And if I am led to talk about myself, to talk about um, things that I've went through over the many years and God has brought me out, um, you'll see where it goes. But my first scripture is taken from Psalms 119, 165, 169, Psalms 119. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Verse 169 says, Let my cry come near before thee. O Lord, give me understanding according to thy word. Let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Don't we need understanding? Don't we all as God's children, as God's people, understanding to understand what the Holy Spirit is saying to us? Our next scripture is Psalm, is Proverbs. Proverbs 3 and 26. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. And the Lord shall be thy confidence and keep thy foot from being taken. And for me, confidence is in God. God's word is my confidence, is my strength, is my deliverer. And like I say, when I'm going through, I have a stack that I would just write. I have my um, prayer journal. That I would just write stuff. I might grab that and just start reading some stuff from out of that because I want to encourage us today to know that heaven and earth will pass away, but not one jot, not one tittle of God's word will pass away. My brothers, like I said, you know, I had a surgery um, three weeks ago, so I'm still having little difficulties, but bear with me. I give God thanks and praise just to be able to speak. So we thank God his word 
let his word be your confidence today. Um, as I, in the scriptures now, I'm feeling to encourage families, young people, middle-aged people to trust in God, trust his word, trust to know that whatever the Lord has placed in your spirit, in your heart that you know that is God, that you can take that to the bank and you can cash your check and you can get your money. Amen, somebody. I'm going to continue with my scriptures, but I want to stop just for a second to encourage a young person out there between the ages of 18, 35, 55, 65, 75. You have a dream. Something that you wanted to do from you was 14 years old. That was your dream. And for some reason, something gone wrong something happened and it knocked that dream out of you but every now and then you think about how you wanted to be this you wanted to be that you wanted to do this I've been married now going on 32 years I pray 32 33 but in the 30s when I was 21 years old. I got married very young. I was 20 when I got married. Thank God I got married at that age. And by the time as I was 21, I was working um, for someone at the time. I was living in a one bedroom apartment, me and my husband. And I would go to work in the morning, come home, cook clean, do the wifey duty. The island that I live on, um, it's a small island and we don't have many stores. Um, right now, in 2023, we have like um, a mom and pop store. We have two mom and pop store. We have two big size grocery store um, for our island, the size of our island. I think that is good. Back in the 90s, we had um, a grocery store, perhaps um, another mom and pop store, but they were like, that was the 90s. So, you know, people things were just really developing and, you know, coming coming up um, on this side in the Bahamas on our islands because you know you have the city and you have different parts of the world where you know business is booming things are exciting but you know in the Bahamas um, different islands different you know progress and all that stuff but going to work I love working and I would get up in the morning time I would get ready I would go to work but one day I just had this vision where I wanted my own business and I told my husband I say I want my own business and the business I wanted was to sell linens sheets towel blankets comforters um, bathroom rugs throw rugs stuff like that those were the things that I wanted to sell we had a store that um, sell those things but the lady that sell those things she was like about 75 you know she was getting up in age so she wasn't really um her, her little shop wasn't you know open like that if you wanted a sheet or you wanted a rug you'd have to go to the house and you know ask someone if they could please come out so you can you know go in the store because like i say down in age and you know how that is you're young no more so you're too particular and you know, opening the store every day and sitting in there waiting for the customers. So I had the idea that I wanted to have my store. And guys, that was 1992. Me and my husband went to Miami in 1992. I went up to our local government office 
and I got a permit where I was able to sell things out of my vehicle or in my apartment, my one bedroom apartment. And I started selling the linens, the comforters, the straw rugs, the socks, the scrunchies, whatever it is that I could find to start my little business off with, I did that. That was 1992. I have um, records of the first time I received my permit. I have it in a little plastic bag and it's actually sitting up. I have it up on my wall or in my store. I started right there in my apartment selling those things. So I'm saying to you today, this is 2023. You're an 18 year old, you're a 25 year old, you're a 30 year old, a 40 year old, and you had this dream for the past 10, 12, 15 years. You can't shake it, but you don't have the support, you don't have that support, you don't have that the family members or persons who you feel like, hey, I need someone to back me up in this. I want to say to you, start small. Start small. Start small. And watch God. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6 says, Lean not unto thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, him who God, and he shall direct your path. I want to encourage you today, guys. Go and start your business. Where is a t-shirt store? Where is a shoe store? Where is a handbag store? Where do you want to do braiding? You want to have a little salon. You want to do barbering. Whatever it is, you want to go back to school, you want to be a nurse, you want to be a dentist, assistant, whatever it is that you know God has laid in your heart from a young person and you're getting up in age and you say, God, this, this dream, this vision is still pricking me. I want my own house, I want my own car, I want my own business. But you don't see no way out. I say lean on God, trust Him. If God gives you that vision, if you feel that pricking in your spirit that, hey, I want to go back to school because I want to be a dentist assistant, I want to be a nurse. Some young person might say, I want, to, I want to be a doctor. Pray and ask God. The Bible says in Psalms 84, 11, that no good thing would he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Hear me today. Sometimes it's very hard. Sometimes you're back in the wall. Sometimes you're in traumatized, you're in devastation. So sometimes you go through things in life because we are human beings. But if God given you a vision, he should all back up. Write the vision and make it clear. Write it on tablets. Say, don't tarry. Wait for it. Wait for it, my brothers and sisters, and wait on God. Watch God turn that situation around for you. It's what, 20-something years, 30-something years? What, 20 years? Since I had my business, I shut it down for a while. You know what I did? I turned it into efficiency, where like, if missionaries, pastors, ministers come on the island and they want to have service, I would let them stay in there. Some of them I would rent it out to them and some of them I would just let them stay in there and just cater to the man, to the woman of God, just you know, to be a blessing to them. And then, that happened for five years and after five years my desire came back I see me selling kids shoes kids clothes <laughs> you, you hear me the desire came back because I always like wanted to have my store so I rented the room my store because I put a bathroom I put a kitchen in there I add those stuff on, turn it into efficiency where I could rent it out. And then after five years, the longing for my store started coming back. So you know what I start to do? I start to buy the stuff and bring them and sell them in my front room. And then when nobody's staying in the efficiency, I would go and set up in there. And one day, 
is a human who would come and rent the place to do business for a day or two. I said, okay, this would be the last time. I'm letting you know when you come back, I wouldn't be renting the room anymore. I'm turning it back into my store. And today, guys, I still have my store. I want to encourage you today that whatever your vision is, whatever your dream is, that you know God, the Holy Spirit is placed in your heart. Follow it today. Don't share what no one say. Don't share how they put you down. Don't share how they bring you down and say all kind of nasty or negative things about you. You know in your heart and your spirit that God has spoken to you. I speak to you today. Rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. Go pursue your dream. Go pursue your goal. Go what you know the Spirit of God has spoken to your heart. Go. Get up. Shake yourself off. Dust yourself off. Put on some clothes. Fix your hair. Groom yourself. And you start to pursue the goal, the dream that God has placed in your heart. You want to be a teacher. You want to be a teacher. Says, whatever it is that God has laid in your spirit, I say rise up in Jesus' name and go and pursue your dreams and your goals. Don't let nothing or no one stop you. Someone says, with Christ in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. With Christ in your vessel, you can smile at every and any storm. Because if God is with you, who can be against you? Stay strong in the Lord. Be of good courage and let him strengthen your heart. Let him lead you and guide you. But I is I is safe. But they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. My brothers and sisters, you all hear how I sound. And guess what? I need to get the word out. So it doesn't matter how I sound in this video. It's me getting the word out that you go and pursue your dream. You go and you do what God has commanded you to do. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. I encourage you to seek God. You who don't know him, come to know him. Just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me, wash me, purge me. I want to make you my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Cleanse me now, wash me now, Heavenly Father. Make him your Lord. Make him your Savior. He said no good thing, but he would hold from them that walk uprightly. Their rules, their laws, their commandments that we have to go by. So if we abide in his word, if we abide in him and his word abide in us, we can ask what we will and it shall be done in Jesus' name. So let's continue with our scriptures today. And here it is talking about rules and laws and commandments. Proverbs 3, 1 and 2. It says, My son, forget not my law. But let thine heart keep my commandment. It says, For length of days and long life and peace shall they add unto thee. My son, my daughter, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. The word of God, the Bible, God give us instructions of how we ought to live, of how we ought to act, of how we to behave, what to do and what not to do. His word is the benchmark. His word is the map of life. You want to know where to go and how to go? Trust God. Lean on God. Depend on God. Let your confidence, let your hope be in God. And you will see great and mighty and marvelous things he will do. Get in the word of God. Let that be the teacher. The teacher which you need to know for in this season. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in thee. When you trust in God, he will keep you in perfect peace. When as long as you trust in him, no matter what you're going through, I'm going through. But guess what? My trust, my hope, my confidence is in God. He is my deliverer. He is my strong tower. He is my way, way, my way maker, my healer, my comforter, and my confidant. He's everything to me. Through the storm, through the wilderness, through the valley of the shadow of death. They will declare, I will fear no evil. You stand on God's words today. Let it be your benchmark today. Let the comfort of the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you into all truth today. For he is true. Philippians 4, 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according 
whose riches and glory. God wants to supply all, not some, but all of our needs. Every need that we have, our God wants to supply for us today. Let him supply your needs. What he say? Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you and unto me. We have to seek him. We have to abide in him. Abide in his word and allow him to lead us and guide us and direct our path. So he wants to supply every need, every need, and some all of our needs, according to his riches and glory. Proverbs 14 and 26, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. In the fear of the Lord, when you fear and reverence and honor God, there is strong confidence and his children have a place of refuge. God is a refuge and strength He's a very present help in the time of trouble. Trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding and let him be your confidence today. Let him be your hiding place today. Let him be your shelter today. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to skip through. I want to read this one in Joel. For the people of God, he had a word of God today. Joel 2, 25 and 26. I will restore to you the years that the locusts has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I will send among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who hath dealt with you wondrously and my people shall never be ashamed. God's people will never be ashamed. He will restore unto you, unto me, the years of the locust, the caterpillar, the canker worm, the palmer worm, those things that were eaten spiritually, your money drying up, your body, your, your home, the mortgage, the this that. He said all the, the years of those things, we, we don't see no physical canker worm and palmer worm, but in the spirit world, the eating and sucking and pulling, God says, I will restore it back to you. Allow God to restore what the enemy has stolen, what the enemy has taken from you. Allow God to restore it back to you today. Allow him to give you back your joy. Allow him to give you back your peace today. Listen to this one. Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked will not go unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Your son, your daughter, your grandchildren, if you stay connected to the vine, if you stay anchored in Jesus Christ, though hand join in hand, the wicked will not go unpunished, but your seed shall be delivered if you trust in the Lord, if you lean on the Lord, if you depend on God and let him be your source, let him be your strength, let him be your delivery of your strong power and watch God turn that situation around. Your children, children shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous. You have to prophesy that and speak that over your children. Though hand join in hand, the wicked will not go unpunished but your seed shall be delivered because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Proverbs 10 and 22. The blessing of the Lord is making it rich and it added no sorrow with it. It doesn't matter how I sound. All I know, you need to hear this word today. Your faith needs to be built today. Your courage needs to crumb up, climb up today. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Guide your loins with truth. Grab the sword of the spirit. Put the, your shoes. Shut your feet in the gospel. Anchor yourself in Christ today. Allow him to lead you and guide you into all truth today. In Psalms 91 and verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. That's when you trust in God. That when your confidence is in God, your hope is in God. He is your shield and your protector. 
what it says in Psalm 34, 7 and 8. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him, and he delivered them. God will deliver his people. If his people stay in him, abide in him, abide in his word, trust in him, and watch him bring us out with his mighty, strong, righteous right hand. Watch God do it for you and for me today. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Psalms 84, 11b. No good thing would he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Psalms 84, 11b. Nothing good, nothing good God would withhold from you and from me if we walk uprightly before him. John 15 and 7, if ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. I have been young, and now I'm old. Yet have I ever seen the righteous forsaken, or seen begging bread. David declare in Psalms 37 and 25, God will take care of his own. God reign on the just and he reign on the unjust. Know that today, God will supply your need according to his riches and glory. Go and pursue your dream, your goals. Go out there. Young man, middle-aged man, even old man, you wanted to write a book, something you wanted to do from you as a young boy, a young woman, and time is passing and you're still feeling that pricking. I say rise up in Jesus Christ's name. Rise up and go out, go forth in the gift and the calling that God has called and placed on your life. Don't let no one hinder you. Don't let no one stop you. Don't know it. let no one block you. Because who God keep kept as well, kept who God keep and call. If he calls you, if he ordain you for it, he will equip you and anoint you to go forth to do what he asks you to do. So trust in him today. Go pursue that goal. Go after that dream today. The Bible says a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. Just pray and say, God, show me that wife. Show me that beautiful bride you have for me, God. Just wait on the Lord. Wait patiently. Young women, middle-aged women, just wait on God. Wait on him to send your boys. God know who he has ordained for you. Just trust God and pray and seek his face. Know that he's your strength. He's your very present help in the time of trouble. You can call upon him in the midnight hours when my husband and children sleep in. I get up, I find my quiet place, I can't sleep, so I have to go and whisper for a prayer. I go in the secret place, that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Is He your refuge today? Let Him be your refuge today. Let Him be your hiding place today. Let Him be your joy, your peace today. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through. Somebody might say, why are you sound like that? Why are you talking like that? My brothers and sisters, the mere fact that I can speak, that I can talk, that I am here doing this video, God is faithful and God is just. He is awesome. I had a surgery three weeks ago and God is faithful that I am here today to encourage you to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might, to put on the whole arm and keep it on. No matter what you're going through. I tell my husband, I say, I just tell my people, don't care how it looks, don't care how it seems, don't care how it appears, trust God. Well, I'm telling myself, I don't care how it looks, how it seems, how it appears, I trust in God because He promised to deliver me. He promised to keep me in perfect peace if my heart and mind is stayed on Him. They would say, Yeah, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil because thou art with me. God is with you and God is with me. Sick with God. The arms of flesh will fail you, but God will not fail you. Heaven and earth will pass away, but not one jot of his word, not one tittle of his word will pass. He is right there to comfort you, to carry you through, through the storm, through the valley, through the trauma, through the devastation, through the hurt, through the loss. Break my heart. 28,000 plus persons die in Turkey. And it reminded me of a time in my life when I was devastated and traumatized. 
And I say, God, in your mercy, I cry out. God, you love us so much. You gave us only begotten Son. But we have to choose life today. We have to choose Him today. He's the way maker. He's the all and all and all. The thief coming but to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. John 10 and 10. I encourage you today as I encourage myself to stick with God. To go after what God has placed in your heart and what he's placed in your spirit. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I pray you are encouraged today. It doesn't matter how I sound. Take this word and run with it. Trust in the Lord. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. God keep you, God strengthen you. Blessings upon you, my brothers and sisters. Like this video, share it with a friend, and tell another video. Blessings upon you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. Love you guys.